Hello, welcome back to Life No Wife and Crafting with Kelly and Dorothy. Hi. And hello, Katie. So, Katie, you're making more quilts, right? Yep. So, so cool. Same as, uh, what was it, a couple weeks ago or last week? I forget. Previously. <laughs> Previously, I'm Unsolved Mysteries. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, okay. we're going to make a card that I made probably what was before COVID. So, we're going to go over two years, years ago that I made you guys for your wedding anniversary, I think it was. Mm. So, it would be three years this June probably. Mm -hmm. that I made you this card and I was looking through deciding what I wanted to make for today and I thought you know what let's just make that card again it's fun so it's called an uh, explosion pop pop up card I can talk um, let's run through the measurements of paper that you need and as time goes on I'll probably add some papers and stuff. I'm just going to give you the basics just because I always throw something extra on the card or this or that. So I'll point you down here and I'll quickly do this and then I'll give Dorothy the scoreboard so that she can do that because I only have one scoreboard. All right. You need for your card blank. I am doing mine in in baby blue. You can do it in white or whatever you want. It's the card blank. Twelve by six along the twelve side. I'm going to turn it over because that's the textured side. Um, we are going to score at five, five and one eighth. Um, ten and one eighth, ten and a quarter, and ten and three eighths. So, three. That's all you need for that piece. Then you need. A piece of ten by four. Oh, was that? No, it's not four. Ha! Huh, it's not four. It's seven eighths. So ten by three and seven eighths. That's why I was like, "Ooh, did I cut that wrong?" Because I initially saw the four. All right, then we need. Um, Oh, that piece is supposed to be scored at five. Then uh, we need one piece of three by three, scoring at um, a quarter of an inch one and a half and two and three quarters okay then we need two and three quarters by two and a half on the two and three quarters you're going to score at a qu oh, let's turn it over because I like scoring on the proper way quarter of an inch one and a quarter and two and a half then we have one more piece here like this and this one is two and a half by two and on the two and a half you're going to score at oh i did it again turn it no i didn't quarter of an inch one and a half and two and a quarter Okay, then you need um, 
Let's see where we at here. You need two pieces of five and three quarters by one and three eighths. So, and you need two pieces of that, that's patterned paper. And then you need one piece of patterned paper that is five and three quarters by four and three quarters. And then you need two pieces of um, paper for your, you'll, you'll see it in a minute, for the your wings of the card. And you really want it as thin as you can get. So like, this is our uh, my thin paper that I make my envelopes with because it causes a lot of bulk. You, you don't want more than, you don't, even regular cardstock is just too thick. So as thin as you can get. All right, I'm going to pass this over to Dorothy. Thank you. And I, once Dorothy gets her scoring done, I'm gonna show you how to do, um, these are your side pieces. So you can see with the origami folds, you really need the thin paper, okay? Mm -hmm. So we'll be back in a minute once we get all her scoring done. Okay, Dorothy's got her stuff scored. We are going to work on these edge pieces. Now, I'm not proficient with origami, but we will figure it out. <laughs> so I did one and took my time watching the video how to do it so that I could have it in my head. So you're gonna fold it in half and if if it's double-sided, doesn't matter. If if it's only one-sided, you put your, your printed sides together. And really try and get your... your Creases need to be very the, sharp. Oh, yes. Them. Yes. And so edges take, take, need to make sure they're all... Yep. Yeah, take a nail or a bone. Yeah. Yeah, I got a nail. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I made sure my corners were yeah. as close as I'm going to get them. Exactly. Okay. Then... So I've got it folded in half. And then we're going to take, so your, mm -hmm. your edges, okay, the, the fold is on your right. You're gonna fold this up and make a triangle. I'll, okay, I'm, you're taking the whole thing. So you're gonna have it like this. And then we're gonna make a triangle. Okay, your fold need no, your fold needs to be on the right. Yep. Now fold that up. Like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you can use your cutting board ruler. Um because you're gonna want to this next one is measuring um, like one inch and half inch. So I'll use my scoreboard. So, so that is six inches. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let me, and like I said, folks, bear with me because I'm learning this part myself. Katie, you're the origami person. You know what? We're going to put her on the spot. She's going to see this and I'm going to get her to help me fold this. She never even seen the video. <laughs> yes, but she knows origami better than I do. Here's the sample. So folks, we're gonna give her a second to, to look at it and we'll bring you back. Okay, so, so. So the step here is that you're going to take your triangle and have it laying down. I have my folded side down right now. You're going to fold over to where the width is two inches. My 
I don't have a regular cutting mat down in front of me, so I'm just eyeballing this on That's the scoring mat. That's what I did mat. when I did this one. So I'm going to, have, I have a two inch wide and I'm going to make sure my bottom edges match up and then run a crease down the side. Now I'm going to... One inch. Yep, I'm just making sure that we're caught up over here. Oh, yeah. So I'm gonna turn this around just to make my measurement easier. And then I'm gonna fold my tail out so that I have a measurement of one inch from my fold to the edge. And then just making sure that mine is in the same channel. And the nice part is, is we just need it close. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm going to fold that down and ensure that I have a nice solid crease. And I'll recrease it once. Well, you're gonna have to crease it again yeah. based on and then this last one, I think is gonna be like a half inch fold in. No. Uh, I didn't get that far in watching and checking out the video, but how they're, many? They're all like. They're all one inches, one inches. Yeah. And then, yeah. And then, and then that the one little gets, end is just the little is end. What it okay. is, yeah. a half inch or whatever. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it just gets folded in yeah. like this. Yeah. That's what it is. I'm and telling you why I couldn't wrap my brain around it the second time around. That's okay because I... I you're you, going to have to unfold that and then and, refold and it back do. to... You do. Anyway, yeah, because yeah. you'll want to turn it. All right. So let's get this. I'm going to now make it look like this. Okay. Oh, I think I was on the wrong side. They're all going to be folded refolded so don't worry about it okay so now open up your page find your, your center line your center line gets folded into itself mm -hmm. like this okay and then each of these reverses so this is a mountain so this is going to be a valley this one's going to be a mountain This one's going to be a valley. Okay. Uh, that one's going to be a mountain and a valley. Hi. Bless you. Bless you. Okay, and they just, so you're folding it back on itself just constantly. And there we go. So then this one on this side, same thing. Mountain, valley, mountain. And honestly, folks, this is the only part of the whole card that is like, <laughs> and I think once you get it, you get it. It's just, like I said, it's been a couple of years since I've made this card. Okay. Oh, those ones get folded out. And there we go. Sure we do. Do you need some help? I might. Okay. <laughs> All right, so there we've got our fans. I thought I was holding it correctly. So this is your center okay. line? Yeah, so it's a valley. No, it's a mountain. Oh, is that what I did wrong? Yeah. I started wrong. Oops. Oh, I know. Yep. 
And That's so why then it didn't work. these are going to lay like this in your card. So your center is. But then when the card pop closes pop. up, these are all going to close up with it. Okay. It'll all make sense once we. That's what I did wrong. Get put in the. I started in the wrong spot. Just put the wrong. I angle. did my mountain in the valley and my valley in the mountain, and it wasn't looking right. Oh, wow. So it was wrong. <laughs> all right. On this piece, you want to, where well, you've got your score lines. It's easiest just to kind of round these score lines just with your hands like this. Because you're not really creasing them, you're just kind of rounding them. In your cage for when people sleep in there. <laughs> okay. okay, so it's going to look like that. Same thing down here. So your card is a card in an envelope all in one. It's gonna be look like this. Mm -hmm. All right. Put your one side. Okay. Fold it up, you can try the other one. Valley, mountain, valley. I'm gonna show you a picture okay. of this card. Okay. So this is what it ends up looking like. This is down here, and it's going to go like this, okay? Now, I... thank you. I got it. There you go. I do it again. <laughs> I know, I'm... Those are the things that make sense in Katie's brain. Okay, so if this one is a mountain, it should be on the outside. Hmm? Yeah. We'll be back. Chopping your nails. All right. Dorothy's working on, on hers. <laughs> I can get back to showing you here. I was getting sidetracked with watching her and I can't do that. <laughs> so we're going to glue our fans in here. And of course my glue is stuck. There we go. your case. You can get in there, Molly. <laughs> so you want your folded edge out and you want it to line up with the side of your card and So it's going to do this. I'm going to put this one down and then we'll put both the other sides down at the same time. Okay, make sure you've got it lined up there. gonna look like that. I got stuck. You have a mountain in the middle? Yep. No, I haven't finished folding. Oh, okay. 
So now you want to fold, so make sure you have a nice sharp edge along that diagonal right now. Yep. And then you're gonna fold in at two inches. Okay. I think I can do it for now. Okay. And then just close this up. This will be over like this. And see, that's why you don't want to use cardstock, just some fun printed paper because it does cause bulk. And all of the postal systems don't like bulk. <laughs> Especially Canadian ones because our postage is horrible, you praised. All right, the next step is your 10, what was it, 10 and 10 by three and seven eighths. Well that in half. Does Molly want the door closed? She had it pulled in towards her. <laughs> she was just playing or? And this will go here and it will cover your edges of your, your um, fans here. So let's see. You need the scoring board? Oh, no. Okay. You put it. I'm just going to set it on the floor. Over That's here. fine. It'll yeah. get inspected by our two inspectors. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Because I just need to move all of these over. <laughs> I did something wrong. It's likely recoverable. Oh, yeah. Because there's nothing cut. It's just folded. Okay, so I'm just gluing that center piece of paper in there. I can't figure out. Okay, so what you ended up doing is when you had your started your starting fold in the center and you were at this position. This is you fold how the card's gonna the look like side. before we get going. So, so this was how I will bring you back came in. when we get her caught up. Okay. He knew that I was the most likely to okay. do it. Okay, we're putting the center parts together. Yes. So your first piece, which is that three and a half by three and a half, yeah. is scored the same. Mm -hmm. And what she's going to do is put glue on the two little tabs. Yeah. I already had this section of mine done, so. And then she's going to line that center score line to With that the, center score line. Yeah. And then I'm going to put... I'm gonna make sure that tack's good. Yeah. So now we wait for the glue to dry just a bit <laughs> before we begin the next piece. You can always do this and. That is a good idea. So you can see how the fold line and this fold line are right about the same place. Yeah. So now that piece. We have the smaller section going to the top. Yeah. And again, we're going to put glue on these sides. And this one's just about a quarter and a quarter of an inch above that score line. Yeah. And the smaller side goes to the top. We're going to line it up in the middle. Ish. And then we're going to hold it down. And wait for the glue to dry. <laughs> yep. How exciting is that? Almost as exciting as watching paint dry. It yeah. is, yes. Or waiting for decoupage to dry. Oh, oh I did that yesterday. I was like, oh. Okay, now we have our smallest piece. And again, make sure you put the smallest part to the top. And leave it about a quarter of an inch. And we're going to glue that one down. 
So this is going to give us a three-tiered effect. Very cool. So inside of mine, and there you can see the tiered effect. All right, now, now you're going to glue. So this goes to the bottom. Mm -hmm. And you're going to glue that into there nice and centered. Mm, that sounds good. Of course, with the fold where the fold is. Yeah. And I, yes, got ahead of myself and put that down first. So then I had to build this with this not laying flat. It was a pain in the tush. Yeah, don't do that. No. I saw her fighting over it. <laughs> the blue smoke was rising. Well, we, we were talking and I was getting distracted and... It's easy to talk and get distracted. Yeah, so... That's for sure. Okay, so... My tears go toward the top. It, it should line up with that paper. Yeah, I'm getting there. Yeah. Just remember one of my papers is very crooked. And it should be able to fold up. Let's see if I can fold it. It's it's definitely crying. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now let's see if it still looks we're like gonna, something. We're going to put our mats and layers on. So that's where you've got those two strips. I'm going to put one there and one on the inside. And then this is going to go here. I almost took your glue. I noticed that. So I didn't get mine quite right because they don't want to fold in the right place, but first try, right? Yeah, you first time you've done the card. It is. It's a very pretty card. And I'm going to use, um, mm -hmm. um, Velcro? Velcro to close it. <laughs> Hook and loop fastener. Yes, that's what they are technically called. Which to me doesn't make sense because in sewing you've got those steel little hooks. Those are hooks and eyes. Oh, those are hooks and eyes. Oh, yeah. okay. Now you know the difference. <laughs> Molly. Come on here. Molly. Molly May. Okay, we got a oh good girl. Good girl, come here. here. Come here, Mom. Molly. And on the back here, you could put a white, so you could sign it. But there is the basic part of the card. And there's my basic. Now you could decorate it like a birthday cake. You could decorate it like um, a floral stand. We'll be back. We'll get this decorated and we'll show you. All right, let's get decorating. It's been a while since I've turned this camera on because we've been gabbing and goofing around. And <clears throat> so, so I am going to make that look like a birthday cake. So I have cut a piece of two and three quarters by one and a quarter, a piece of two and a quarter by one, and a piece of one and three quarter by one. And... Just gonna lay it down. I'm gonna be able to 
Let's see. Let's get you over here a little bit better, maybe. Sound asleep. Oh no, this one opened her Oh, eyes. Brody's not? And she just opened her eyes and then shut them again. No. Oh. They're probably saying, Would you people please be quiet? <laughs> well, because the sewing machine isn't a sharp noise, mm -hmm. it's not seeming to bother her at all. So that's good to know. The vacuum, the mixer. Oh my goodness, the other day, Kevin was making mashed potatoes with the hand mixer. Molly went insane. <laughs> yep. How does she do with like a stand mixer? That, well, that's what Kevin was using. Oh, no, he was using and the hand mixer. Yeah, the no, hand mixer. Stand mixer, like KitchenAid, like. Oh, I haven't used it yet. Okay. I haven't really done any baking for a while. Yeah. I made muffin a couple weeks, maybe a month ago, and uh, they they disappeared pretty quick because I haven't been baking. Mm -hmm. I just haven't had the energy, and uh, I had a really good chat with my doctor that told me it's okay if I my heart is palpitating and mm -hmm. just to sit down and rest in between if that's what I need to do. So that encourages me. Sometimes when you start feeling that way, it's like, am I? What am I doing wrong? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, the overall stresses of the past few years may not be acute, but we've been living in a constant state of our brains giving us way more um, hits of different chemicals than we usually get. So yeah. things that we used to be able to manage, we cannot manage as well now, and that is. Mm hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Just what it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. I found myself um, getting angrier more often about things, like rightfully so things. But I might not have gotten as angry as quickly. No, there's nobody there. It's yeah. fine. Well, and I know for me, the, the winter is wearing on me more so. Oh, this oh year really? Is, this oh, this year is hard. See, I, But I mean, look outside. It's no wonder. We haven't had a reprieve. Like, we went six weeks without getting to zero. Yes. From December 14th to February... Seventh, was it? Yeah, something like that, yeah. We first broke zero February 8th. Mm. And the previous temperature above zero was December 14th. So we went um, seven weeks. See, the temperatures don't bug me. It's if I don't have some sunshine. And because we've had sunshine, yeah. I'm okay. Yeah, I've struggled with... Mine is the fact that I can't get out and go for a walk because the sidewalks are too dangerous. Oh, they, they are. are. Absolutely. So the, like, they are literally and, not in existent down here. And then because of COVID, I'm not comfortable just heading to the to Polo Park and taking a walk for half an hour in the mall. Yep. Yeah, I can understand so that. that. Yep. That part is wearing on me. I haven't mm -hmm. been I haven't been to the Polo Park since and the Polo Park is our, our what our mall is called. Um, I haven't been there at least two years. Well, before COVID, anyway. I mean, it's not somewhere that I go often, but it's a for me an indoor mall is a good winter opportunity if the weather is too crummy outside to mm -hmm. go walk. walk around. Oh yeah. And I don't want to go walk around at Walmart or places like that because the people that are in there picking up what they need to do, I don't want to get in their way because mm -hmm. they just want to get in and get out too. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think they have a walking program at like 7 in the morning or something. A lot of places do. Or at least yeah. places I have lived in the past have. Mm-hmm. There we go. I have no idea who this is for, but... <laughs> All right. There's a birthday cake card. So... Get you up here. I'll show you Dorothy's. She's a, she's a slightly busy. I'm snuggling a baby. Happy. <laughs> oh, something didn't stick there. Or something you didn't put on. hers and it flowers mm, yes and so I can't really close mine up yet because it's it's um not dry but I put velcro dots and so when you close it up it's in its own little envelope yeah, close mine. oh okay mine's been open long enough there we go it's in its own little envelope so thanks for joining us on crafting with Kelly and Dorothy and Katie back there. <laughs> we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.